We start tonight with a controversy surrounding a Kansas lawmaker. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brooke Huntington. A judge says that there is not enough evidence to hold a top Kansas senator accused of driving down I-70 the wrong way and then leading police on a short chase, all while under the influence. Our Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung is live at the Capitol with the new details on the case. Rebecca. There's no word tonight on where Senator Gene Sullentrop is, the Senate Majority Leader. We've been calling and emailing his house and office all day. Still no word. And right now, the Senate President says they're gathering more information on the situation. A big surprise during Senate Majority Leader Gene Sullentrop's first appearance in court. I do not find probable cause to support your arrest. The longtime Republican lawmaker released after the Highway Patrol found him driving the wrong way down I-70 and suspected he was drunk. The judge says the police report lacked information, but ultimately prosecutors will decide whether there's additional evidence to bring charges. Sullentrop was missing from Senate session Tuesday afternoon. He was arrested on the following charges, driving under the influence, trying to run from law enforcement, speeding, and driving on the wrong side of the highway. Sullentrop was a member of the Kansas House for seven years before being elected to the Senate in 2016. Right now, he serves as the second highest position in the Kansas Senate. Prosecutors, lawmakers, and the governor's office are not commenting tonight. Live at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung. All right, thank you, Rebecca.